Today we traveled near Washington, North Carolina to search for three missing people in one vehicle. David McMinnon, Michael Norman, and William Clifton. They went missing in 1982, 40 years ago, and they were last seen leaving, I believe, a bar. Now, from what I'm my understanding, this used to be the VIP lounge or tavern uh, here in Chacoinity. I'm not 100% sure, but from my research, it's somewhere near the Fountain Lodge and the food line over there. So we're kind of trying to trace their steps because they were last seen here driving together in a white 1975 Camaro. And apparently it had a black racing stripe down the middle. So this is a very easily recognizable car, I would imagine. And what I'm reading on the internet, uh, I mean, there, there's all kinds of details to this story, uh, but the way it's reading is, you know, the, all, all these guys were in the car and then it vanished. So like, yeah. In a nutshell, it reads like car accident and they just never found the car. Potentially, there's a lot of little small ponds around here too, like on the way, I think they most of them lived in Washington, which is like right out here and then up 17. Yeah. I mean, we've, uh, there's, there's lots of people have looked for these guys and yeah. haven't found me. So now we're trying to like, starting fresh, starting from ground zero, right. and then we'll figure out, you know, we'll just start checking all the waterways and see if we come across anything. I mean, yeah. it's a long time this car has been, in, if it's in the water, been in the water so who knows the condition it's in might not be much left no i mean we might be looking for a car frame by this yeah. time but yeah. we don't even know so we're gonna start driving retracing their steps and check some of these waterways well, we can just park on the side of the road you think it's deep enough i don't know we're checking it. it's so close and like no guardrail a lot of people fish here. Look at all the lures right there. Up on, there's a lot of lures on the power line. Do that? I don't see any signs, so yeah, so we just check, check it real quick. So here's the first spot I was interested in, because as, as you can see, the road's right here. There's no guardrails. And it's pretty dirty, murky. I don't know if it's deep enough or not, but I think it's definitely worth checking. So it's a little out of the way. I don't know why they would have came down this road. I think it's dead end too, potentially, or, or I'm not exactly sure, but it's, I mean, I don't know. You never know. Maybe that bridge like it was today was closed off for some reason. They turned around and then they were drinking. So maybe they got lost. I don't know. could be so many different things. If it's deep enough, who knows? But we'll be able to clear it pretty quick. I did notice. I mean, you keep going down this road at dead ends, but it turns in. I don't know if you can get back there, but there's two large bodies of water back there. Is there? Yeah. Like two big lakes. I'm like, hmm. Just got in the water. Believe it or not, it's like six feet. Six feet? Well, it's five feet right here, but where he was a second ago, it was six feet. So possible anything's possible i would pass get a good pass right here a few times and we could just cruise around this whole thing real quick make sure you don't hit anything i'm sure there's stuff everywhere probably i mean it's deep enough i am surprised right here is almost seven feet All right, let's go straight down. So we're riding down this pond. That's where we put in over there. All along here, it's all overgrown now, but there's actually, there is or was an old road all the way down here. So this has potential to, we'll just go around this and see if there's anything that stands out. So far, nothing, right? No, we're still looking at seven feet. Uh, but nothing, but see, there's a road right there. I think that was, that was the spot that we saw on the map. Might not be. It looked like a dumping site or something. I'm sure somebody owns it. Maybe. Maybe. See something? Go back, go back. Just right, just this way. There's definitely something rectangular. With the wheels? I. The fact that we're looking for a 40 year old You're right. you know, crashed car. I mean, this is definitely the shape of a car. No, dude. No. Why? How? How and why? Right here? Doesn't make any sense, dude. It's 
right there the tree is. There's something on this side. It's over here. And we're, we're hitting it like the car's facing this way. If it's a car. <laughs> yeah, he's. But if it is a vehicle, it would have came off. So like, maybe I start hitting at different like, toward, like that tree. I would say is is the is the spot. So let's go over again so we get a good good angle. Just go straight across. And we'll see if I can figure out exactly where this is at. I mean, it's rectangular, but the shadow it's throwing is just jagged like trees. All right, so we have the magnet. We can't quite tell what it is. You're saying it might be a boat dock or something. I'm not sure what. Oh, oh. I'm on some, something. Whatever it is, you're, I mean, that's, that's what it's snagged on. I don't know if that's the, did it grab or is it snag? It's, I think it's snag, not, not sticking. That's what I'm saying, the nails thing makes sense if it was a dock, but then you pull up a spark plug with it. Unless that, that wasn't on the magnet before you dropped it, was it? No. Okay. AC 44-5. Spark plug. That would make more sense <laughs> than if they were in the river somewhere right here. Because like 40 years ago, who knows? I know. So you guys probably missed that, my GoPro stopped recording, but we actually put the magnet down and pulled up the spark plug and Jeremy searched it. And it came up to a, sh a Chevy, right? It said it, it they, like they- old Chevy? They went to Chevy. Uh, th this website says something about like, it was four Chevys, but mid 50s. So we're out here at, is it the Tar River or Pop Popular River? I think a couple of combined or something. Man, I mean, I saw both. Yeah, I I'm not exactly sure this part, but I think it's around, it's 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 one or the other. Well, I think it's like the Tar River becomes the- Pop Popico? Yeah, something, something like, that. like that. Because like, we're really close to the ocean, so. Um, so we're gonna check all these spots. There's, I guess our, our goal, there was this rumor um, where the RV resort is, there's like a peninsula across the way and there was a rumor about a stop sign near the water having damage or something. So there, there were these rumors that the car may have gone in the water over there. So do you want to go cut across, or what, what do you think our main focus should be? I mean, let's go, let's go, let's 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 go over to that peninsula and we can we can search all those little canals and, and search around it. Yeah. And see how much time we got left. There's a lot of little waterways around that. Yeah, over we there. could we could clear that section really good. And then go from there. And then come back up here on this side. Yeah. This is some big water, so we're gonna have to be careful on our little boat. <laughs> All right, we just got in the boat off the ramp here, and uh, it's pretty shallow so far. We're looking at three feet. I mean, this is uh, tide controlled, I believe. We're oh, pretty cl pretty close to the ocean here, so. That's always tricky, but cars are still, you know, potentially out here. So we're gonna search everything we can. All right, we cut across the bay. We're in this little peninsula island area. This is like one, this is, this is the first little canal we're going into. As you can see, it's 1.9 feet. There's a, there was a tire actually right there. Oh. There's no way a car is gonna be in here. I mean, there's logs and trees everywhere. You know, a 40 year old car, I, very, very doubtful. But it's kind of fun going in these little inlets. We got a lot of these to go into. Stretching that word fun a little bit, aren't you? <laughs> it's getting a little deeper. 2.6, 2.5. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't know. The road is over here. Oh, it, that's your truck. Eh, mine's a different color. Three feet. It's getting a little deeper. That's the thing I was curious about, because you know, we just don't know. Is that a gator? Rob. Gator tail? If it's buried, which it probably would be, tide controlled. I mean, who needs to say it isn't out here? There's something on this one. Probably a log. Okay. Still like three feet deep. 2.1. But with the car is like, if it is a convertible, I don't know. You know what? And I don't know what stop sign this theory was. I mean, there's a stop sign. All right, so we're continuing in this other part of this first canal. It does get deeper right here. I mean, it gets up to six feet, so technically it's possible. There was something I saw in the water, probably part of a dock or something. But one of the theories it sounds like is like one of the one of the gentlemen missing. 
I don't think his address is known, so they don't know if he potentially went to that house, if that's out on this this island area where we were at. So really anywhere is worth searching. So we're gonna keep on searching and looking. Let's see if we see this thing I saw a minute ago. Log. All right, we have been driving a ways. <laughs> and uh, there's lots of houses around here in these canals we've been searching. Doggo. Not too, too much out here. Lots of piers and docks, but it's so shallow. I mean, two to three feet. There are some deep spots, but we're not seeing much. Oh, my screen's kind of smeary. You go straight. That, that's just great. Different. There's the main spot I'm most interested in is down here. There's a road that goes right parallel with the canal so like i said we may be searching this and some local people are like oh yeah this thing gets way too low you can see this at the ground certain times in the you know we don't know 40 years is a long time i imagine maybe a big storm or something may have pulled all the water out but we don't know all those details so to us this is peace of mind clearing the area we we're also cleared you know those other ponds earlier and we're going to continue clearing more as much as we have daylight which we don't have a lot left but yeah, there's a, t there's a tire over there. I mean, you just never, you never know. So the road is all right here. So if we see something down here, it, there's, a, there's a good possibility. We're almost all the way through. It's it's pretty shallow, two, three feet. Not seeing anything. Nothing really in here at all. All right, I think we reached the end of our day today. We're right here at the end of the canal. As far as we could really go with the time we have, well, we clear a lot of water, right, Jeremy? Yeah, I mean, we came here to do all these uh, canals, and we did. Most of them is too shallow, but at least now we, you know, we know he's not in these canals. Yeah. He's not in the like general area, the boat ramps. Mm -hmm. These peninsulas and bays and, and stuff, they're super difficult to search because they're huge and most of them are too shallow. Yeah. So. But they're like little deep pockets, but I, I just yeah. don't know if it gets, I mean, it probably does get really, if a big storm comes through, it gets washed out and completely dry and, you know, they would have seen a car by now, but we, I don't know those details. We don't live here. I think. <laughs> I think we should come back, do a part two. We'll search those lakes more. Bring the pontoon boat? Yeah, definitely bring the pontoon boat. And then, uh, go from there. Yeah, sounds good to me. They've been missing for a long and time, so they're, if, you know, if they're in the water, they're not in a spot that people would even think to look. So we're gonna right. have to think outside the box. There's more ponds too to check. So yeah. we'll do a part two, but right now, let's zip back to the car and end this video. All right, we just got back after a long day of searching, a lot of water, but there's still so much more. We're definitely gonna be back in the future. Um, and hopefully we'll bring the pontoon boat and be able to clear a lot more water and hopefully find them. You know, there's a lot of ponds too. It was a- Back hurts. <laughs> yeah. This was not, I, I, I definitely would have had the pontoon boat. Let's give people a perspective. I sat Indian style on the orange <laughs> on box the, orange the whole the day. Yeah. I'm not made for this anymore, but I've, I've been places. I'm too old for this. I'm too old for this, yeah. but uh, we didn't find him. We didn't find the car or the three men, but you know, There's still one thing in the in the water. Like we thought it was. It, it was. It was that definitely one pond. Shape. The first pond. Yeah, I want to check those other ponds at some point. We can come back and check those. I think we should pond hop. I don't think he's gonna be out here. I don't know. The tide control makes it kind of messy. And the weird. guy we met, he says he heard rumor that they're buried somewhere. Yeah, I don't know if we could hear that on a video. We saw, yeah, he uh, he heard a rumor of that. He said he went to school with them. This is crazy. And, we uh, run into uh, something. We just like, school. oh wow, it must be small, smallish small town. town. But uh, search continues. Search continues. Still like to make these videos as an awareness video for anyone in the local community that has a boat, sonar, or has a spot you want us to check. Let us know because I'd love to come back. We are going to be back. So, but that is going to wrap up today. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, check out Exploring with Nugs channel to see his perspective in front of me basically all day. All day, <laughs> you got to see the back of my head. But we got a long drive home. We will see you guys on the next search.